going on here? Um, let's see. I've got to go to this uh, YouTube uh, YouTube to get my link. We'll get the link here. The link's back, so I should be streaming myself. Super exciting time. Okay, so I gotta go. I gotta go back. We're going to my channel. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here it is. I gotta share this. Oh, go away. Here we go. Here it is. I gotta share this. Oh, go away. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we're back. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Wrong uh, button there. To Seaburn. Okay. Seaburn. Okay, so now we're gonna jump back into the uh, into the Twitch Twitch stream to visit Seaburn. Since he's fixed the issue. Fix the issue. Um, all right, let's try it out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a weird stream, but a fun one, right? It's been a fun one. Exciting. Hey, Seaburn. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for bringing me back. Sorry for the slight delay. I think we've got our, our tech issues fixed. I think I think I'm down to a six second delay from a ten to the twelve second delay. Yeah. No, I actually parked uh, parked. On a side street here under a tree so I don't get overheated in the sun. I'm very excited. Very excited. Okay, I've got a request from chat to show you all my troops before I jump into it. Here we go. Here's my army. Here's what I got. For all of you people that want to come zero me, this is this is a poor idea, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways because I want you to come zero me. This is a poor idea, but here you can see. <laughs> you can see all my troops. <laughs> don't, don't hit my Chaos Warriors, man. I love those guys. I love those guys. I've got my 81,000... Uh... No! My Vortex Beasts! We're, ba we're back, Seaburn. We're back. Sorry. Sorry. Break my heart. Sorry, guys. I wish I knew what was going on with my with my streaming poo here. We're gonna find out why it's not working and we're gonna get it working. We will get it working. It will work. It will We're going to reload. Okay. YouTube. We're live now. Are we actually live? I can't tell.
Okay. Here we go. Next attempt. Super exciting. Super duper exciting, here we go. Is it working? It looks like it's working. Let's go to Seaburn. All right. <laughs> okay. And testing <laughs> the last minute or two. No lag or <laughs> freeze. I turned my game. That was crashing. <laughs> Up to you if you want me to try again or <laughs> another. <laughs> All right. Randy. Wait, let me know what you think, Seaburn. Hey, Seabird. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me back for the third try. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm bearing with you. Yep, this is super duper exciting. Good to see you all again. Thanks for tuning in from those of you from the couple different servers I spammed. Huh? Was that Seabird? It's really been a cool, uh, interesting afternoon trying to get this everything set up here. But now that we're finally back intact, um, <laughs> let, me, let me jump back into what we got going on here, okay? So I wanted to talk to you guys because I'm super excited about this patch. These are all changes we've been asking for for like two months. The developers heard us, and they made these changes we've been begging about. It's 
amazing. Right? So I think I left off before before I got murdered by my, my YouTube app. The Blood Thirster of Corn is super duper dope. If you haven't checked him out yet, he's stronger than the Skull Hunter. Um, he gives you 35% melee damage bonus, 35% health bonus, and 35% morale bonus. Um, the reason why he's stronger than your Skull Hunter is because uh, your Skull Hunter gives you attack bonus and armor bonus. So a Skull Hunter with 30% melee attack bonus is going to give your melee guys approximately 10 to 13% increased damage at the end of the day when it's all said and done so let's call it 13 percent versus 35 percent clearly a big difference um you have to get I, I can't wait to get that warlord that's that's i'm super excited about that um next thing i want to do is uh to show you guys my my shirt that uh seaburn and montel sent to me it uh, shrunk in the wash so i look like a five pounds of sausage and a in a two pound bag, but uh, here we go. Chaos and Conquest represent, baby. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> um, okay, so let's jump. Let's jump back to the patch, okay? Let me jump back to that patch. Okay, so we just talked about the, the Bloodthirster. He's amazing. You guys have to love him. He's so insane, okay? The next cool thing I want to talk about is the new armor that's going to come from the new event, the uh, Blood on the Reich. If you haven't seen that armor, um, my favorite piece, I'm not going to show you everything, but my favorite piece is the chest, which is this breastplate of fury down here, this level 20 item. I can hit forge, and uh, you can go ahead and jump down here, and you can see that uh, your corn get a huge 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 bonus you get huge amount of bonus vanquish damage health bonus um corn health bonus monstrous beast armor bonus i mean this chest is god mode the only better chest than this and i'd say it's up for debate right the only oops sorry that's the wrong i'm on the wrong chest i'm on the wrong chest sorry i'm on the wrong chest okay let's go back to the murderous murderous curious of butchery that's where i meant to go my apologies <laughs> Sorry, Seaburn. <laughs> Randy's dropping the ball. Okay, here we go. So <laughs> this chest is even better than that chest. Okay, this is <laughs> this is why. Yeah, happy Monday, Seaburn. Um, you get 20% armor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got march capacity 10%, which is huge. That's got to be one of the biggest advantages in the game. I mean, think about it like this. I keep level 22. I can send 200, 220,000 troops. I add 10% more to that, boom, bam, baby, wham, bam, boom. So, yeah, so I love that. Um, the only chest I like better than that is the chest they released last patch, which is the Curios of the Chosen, which is really nice, which gives you um, march attack bonus for melee and range as well as morale. So this actually combines really nicely. This chest actually combines really nicely with that new Corn Warlord. Um, and by the way, I haven't seen anybody in the uh, in the chat posting questions or anything. Give me a couple cues, man. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them in there. Drop it like it's hot. I'll try and answer them uh, one here and there. Get up in there. Okay. Back to the update. Okay. Okay, Seaburn, you want to know about the uh, the champion skill build tree. Well, first, me and my really good friend, Coda, who's a mm -hmm. member of the AOA Nation, um, he helped me put it together. We, we ba I basically spent a couple hours putting together an Excel spreadsheet that all, had all the data together. And uh, with that data, he was able to come into the game and, and kind of siphon out really nice high-res icons for everything. Um, and with those icons... He was able to create this fantastic tree. Um, I have to say, 80% of the work was done by Coda, probably 90% of the work, so props to him. Um, he's really amazing, uh, really put in a couple a uh, couple days worth of work there, getting it all together. Getting it all together. So that's how we did it, Seaburn. It was, it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It was a couple hours for me and a couple days from Coda, and we just really wanted to get you guys something that everybody could use. Um, if you haven't seen it, we can probably go to the uh, we can probably go to rtsmobile.com and just pull it out real quick. 
Um, but the whole goal of this is that you guys can uh, go ahead and just click the skill tree plan at the top and pre-plan all your all your stuff. Thanks, Eburn. Sure. Sure. So my favorite champion build right now, and you know, it, it varies day to day, um, and as I unlock more troops and I level up, but my favorite one right now is I love maxing out my construction, my rituals, and my slave driver for gathering. So I hop over here, I max this out, right? I max this out. Here we go, we're just maxing these out here. So I'm going to get like, you know, 105% faster uh, rituals and construction and 175% faster um, um, resource gathering. I can gather a level 6 resource in 54 minutes while massively uh, increasing my uh, my ability to construct uh, and, and, and perform rituals. So, really, there's there's... I mean, I can hit this little share button up top and share it in the Discord channel, right? And you guys can check out my build. Um, I'll then spend some extra points on my on my training because I'm currently training these uh, these monstrous beasts, right? So you can see as you just kind of complete this and you go down the line, you can see how many points you need to get all this stuff. So if I need to train, and I don't have this many points right now, I'm on like 160 something. But uh, ideally, I want 195 points so I can speed train all my monsters and rituals, construction, and gathering all at once. I mean, I'm all about efficiency, Seaburn. I'm all about efficiency. I love being efficient. And that's where we're at. So that's, that's what's so exciting about this tool is I can see how many points I need pre-plan it. Do you have other questions, Seaburn, or anybody? I see a question from Assassin in, in, in Volpe, Assassin in Volpe, the new, yep. Well, that's a good question, because actually these demons uh, have a massive amount of health. All these new demons have so much health, they're just so strong compared to the old blood letters with 900 health and 375 damage. The new Nurglings have... 1300 health and 350 damage. They're almost as strong damage and way significantly more health. Blue Horrors have a ton of health as well. Um, it's 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 tough to say which one I like the best. I would say um, just from a pure tankability standpoint. Um, I mean, your Blood Letters of Corn already don't have don't have a, a ton of health, but they have a ton of armor. However, I would say these Nurglings are probably really great tanks. Um, Again, the armor isn't massive, but just the, the sheer amount of health they have compared to the bullet letters is really nice. And you can combine these Nurglings um, with that uh, special Nurgle hero and really maximize these guys' stats. With the fat guy, let's jump to the, fat, the fatty over here. Where's he at? Great unclean one. I can get all this extra health and armor onto those little Nurglings, and uh, they can be really powerful. Tier 2. Uh, any other questions you guys got? Let me just adjust my chat here. I'm just going through real quick and switching to combat, and I'm going to be killing a couple of monsters and armies and stuff while we're, uh, while we're going through everything. So, this is all uh, just focusing on my monster build, in case any of you guys are interested in uh, getting your monsters um, stacked up there. Just got to put my three prereq points and everything as I go. I'm just marching my way down here. Boom. Oh, and I put six in that one. Yep, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Seaburn. There goes three points, baby. I'm gonna go back into that one actually. That's a good skill to get. <laughs> oh man. Here we go, Seaburn. Here we go, baby. We're getting there. We're... I should have probably used my, my own planner here, huh? Okay, here we go. 
24 points left to go. Okay, we're going to jump into this. Uh, we're going to maximize that, and I want to get some more armor in here for my infantries. Okay, perfect. So, I'll show you my stats real quick, just so you see the stats I'm working with before I start attacking all these armies. Um, monstrous beasts are what I'm focusing right now. So here's where we're at. Um, in Dark Arts Workshop, I see your question in there. Uh, having your alliance aligned with the Chaos God currently doesn't make a difference, but I know that's something the developers in Seaburn have been talking about. I think it's in the works. I don't know for sure when or how, but I know they brought it up in the last two AMAs. So I'm very excited to see when that when that change comes in, into town. So we're going to hit this guy. We're going to hit... We're gonna hit this this fellow over here. Uh, let's kill this uh, kill that fellow, and then we'll go ahead and get some armies going. Let's kill let's kill a couple level eight armies because now my troops that I uh, that that get ouchied, um, they go to wounded, which is really exciting. Let's get some of these guys in there. Here we go! Boom, bam. Blamo. So I did send uh, some some chariots. I know they're not monsters, but they are tier four. Sure. Sure, Seaburn. Uh, that's a great question. So the sawbones. I think the current changes are uh, the first step of many, right? The current changes that that send a whole bunch of stuff to the sawbones. That's not final, right? We're gonna keep changing and tweaking that, and it's gonna keep uh, evolving, right? So, um, I need to send a warlord with this guy. Let's get this guy in there. Um, but yeah, so the sawbone, right? Right now, they pro the capital is probably a little bit high. I, I personally, I think the sawbone limit could be reduced by fifty percent. Um, I think that. Uh, that with, with with the current mechanics, uh, the current mechanic changes in the sawbones today, um, you'll see a lot of people filling up their sawbones from tile hits and from attacking armies, no problem. But what you won't see is people uh, taking deaths. So we need to get a way back in to, to balance that out and get some deaths back into the game. And I think we can do that by lowering the cap down a little bit. From you know, here's your average of a million sawbones at like keep level 17 maxed out, million sawbone limit. Drop that down to like. <laughs> now I'm talking about a, a reduction in the overall caps. In the overall cap. So like. Go ahead, Seaburn. Sorry. Yeah, I love those changes for PvP incentivization. Yep, I love that. I love it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Saber, in this uh, like eight-second delay. <laughs> um, I love I love the forty percent. The forty percent is kind of cool, right? I mean, it, I was expecting like ten to fifteen percent. Um, but the 40% is definitely cool. I'm going to be, you've probably seen my videos where I attack people twice my power and lose 40,000 troops anyways, just because I like killing people and killing my troops and making videos. Now I'm going to get half those troops back, which is pretty cool. That is definitely cool. It's going to incentivize a lot more activity in combat, especially with this massive shield cooldown change. I mean, that's going to raise, that's going to raise the skill cap in combat massively. People are going to be a lot more brave to attack because of these uh, um, these wounded changes. See, but I do have a question. Um, are those 40% uh, of attack or wounded, does that apply to warbands too, or is that just going to apply to, uh, to single attacks? And here you see I have 500 wounded. Okay. 
Well, that's probably a good thing because warbands have so much power. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's it's good that the warbands don't include it because already they're so powerful that um, I've seen people get zeroed in warbands, and I can just imagine if, if if it's a close fight and you get to keep half your troops, I mean that's it's tough. That'll really affect alt dwarf combat for sure. Um, so here you can see in my attack against this level eight. Before I would have just lost 500 troops. Now they're going to wounded, which is really nice. It's a really great mechanic. Um, oh, there's a question. Hell cannons in the fortress don't fire if no defending troops. Is one defender enough? Um, Pooch o Azul, what I would say is you probably need enough defenders to survive the first wave. If there's no troops that are alive to, to survive the first wave, and Seaburn, feel free to correct me. Um, if there's not enough troops to f survive the first wave, then there's nobody left to shoot the cannons. That's what I would, I would put forth on that particular. Um... You know what? Let's hit a level. Let's hit a level nine and really get some wounded in here. Yep. Well, yep. Super excited to see how the ordering works. I'll definitely be in that AMA. I'll definitely be excited and participating. You know me. Um, that's always been a kind of a question because sometimes you see defensives take damage, and sometimes you see um, they don't take damage, and it's always kind of confusing. Confusing on the uh, the order. I don't know if it's RNG or if it's designated to be a certain something there. Um, oh, got to send some more Gorbeast to my buddy here. Here you go. And some steel. Send some steel out. Um, oh, by the way, if you guys didn't notice, you can now um, upgrade your uh, upgrade your your chosen equipment that was bugged. I don't have enough materials to upgrade anyways, but you can now upgrade. Super exciting. Because those boots are god mode, by the way, if you haven't seen them. Let's just go right back to that, and I'll show you what they look like upgraded. Look at this. Look at that. Look at these boots. 40% undivided armor bonus. 40%. Did you guys not see this last patch? This is one of the best things to come out of that last patch. I hope you noticed. Boom, baby. Boom, Seaburn. I love it. Oh, I don't even know what to do. I need those boots. going to take me like two months to get them, but I'm going to get them up there. We're going to get them. Very exciting. Um, do you have any, have any more questions you guys want to talk about in chat or Seaburn? Any more cues? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's some content, baby. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, you really, you really. You had a whole bunch there, so let me just start at the top. Um, yeah, so I came from a, a long line of RTS mobile games. Uh, making this website was actually kind of an inspiration just because I used to make a lot of guides for all my buddies, and it was like in a Word document. It's like, here's a Word document. I had to share it on Discord. It was super awkward, so I made the website. But um, I, I knew about Warhammer previously. I used to play Total War Warhammer on the PC. Uh, I still love that game. Uh, I, I had to stop because I recently had a baby, and uh, just during the whole pregnancy, I didn't have a whole lot of time. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I never played the tabletop game. I've got a couple friends who play the table, tabletop game like semi-professionally or however professional you can be with it. 
they go to competitions and stuff in Vegas all the time and one of my buddies consistently places like first or second in those and he's a guy I work with he's pretty cool um, uh, just so hit me with the rest of your questions Seaburn because you did you asked a lot I just want to see I just want to see if I missed anything <laughs> Sure. Right, right. Right. Well, the end game. I mean, that's that's a big topic. Um, and, and why do I like Warhammer so much? Well, that's a good question. Like I said, I've played a ton of these baseball builders before. I know you asked earlier which games, right? I came from... Um, you can look at my channel. I've got videos from Clash of Kings... Clash the West. I mean, Game of Thrones. Conquest is kind of one of my main my main squeezes from before. Um, I like Warhammer Chaos and Conquest for a couple of reasons. One, it's got crazy good graphics. This is on low graphics. I put this on low settings so my YouTube doesn't crash. I mean, you guys have insane graphics, okay? A, awesome graphics. Really cool. I love it, okay? Two, um... The developers and the admins like yourself and Mohawk and everybody, you guys are in Discord every day. If I tag somebody, you guys respond within like a day or two. You know, even developers who are super busy, they'll respond. You guys read the suggestions channel, which is amazing. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, at the beginning before I kind of got my, my stream exploded because of YouTube, um, this patch is amazing, right? This is stuff that we've been asking for for not forever, you know, for a month or two. But we've been asking for it in Discord. You guys have read it. You guys have put in the work to make this stuff a reality. And you guys are, you literally just asked me what I think about these new changes so we can make further tweaks to balance it. I mean, what other what other game company cares what their players think? Every other game company just wants your $20 bill, right? Um, so there's nothing wrong with wanting a $20 bill from somebody. But at the same time, you guys are developing the game, Okay. All these other games want the money and they don't care about developing it. They just want to put more money traps. You guys are developing it, which is going to create a massive, uh, really popular and really strong gaming community, which is going to make this so much more fun for everybody. You know? It's it's great. So, I know I know some of the suggestions I've heard from some of my other buddies, like Neo Tickus and Throg4. I mean, he's he can't wait for... Oh, I'll let you talk. Sorry. <laughs> You go, Seaburn. Always take our feedback into consideration. And by the way, I just saw a Tyrant Force in chat request something, which is a great suggestion. I've seen in previous games where if, if somebody does get zeroed by a player that's a certain X castle levels above you, you'll get resources, you know, mailed to you in intervals over the next day, you know, or whatever. Something to help little guys get back on their feet. Cool suggestion, Tyrant. Put that in the suggestions channel in Discord, man. They will read it. They'll check it out. Sorry, Seaburn. Let me interrupt you. It's the uh, <laughs> the slight delay. Wow, look at how many squigs I got from that. 21. Looks like the loot drops increased. Getting more loot now, too. This is nice. More loot, better loot. I love it. 
Boom, baby. <laughs> um, I see another really great request from uh, Pocho Azul in the uh, in the chat here. I would love to be able to share scout reports to Alliance. I know you guys talked about that before, but elaborating on that, um, warband reports, uh, I want to be able to share those. And defenses, if I'm reinforcing somebody, I'd love to be able to share, or even, I can't even see the report. I want to see the defense report and share it, because that's bragging rights, you know? You get a ninja reinforce in, you snipe somebody, and it's like, let me see, man. I want to see how I did. I got 40,000 losses in the Sawbones. What did I kill? You know? That's... Super excited about that, so you gotta hook me up with some of that, uh, please. Bam, baby. Boom. All right, Seaburn. Uh, you wanna, you have some more uh, questions or comments? Yeah. Well, I'll. I'll... <laughs> it's been interesting, Zebra, and it's been interesting. That's for sure. So, okay, let me let me just give you let me just jump into a couple things real quick, then, and then I'll let you, I'll give it back to you for the for the finale. Um, I do want to bring up everybody. The warlord from last patch and from this patch are both super strong, right? They're both amazing. Actually, the last three patches, all the epic warlords so far have been not a disappointment. They've been really great, okay? So let me just talk. I'll go all the way back to the great unclean one, okay? This guy's pretty strong, right? This melee damage, health bonus, and armor bonus. Pound for pound, this great unclean one for Nurgle is the strongest warlord in the game. Um... I'm expecting that uh, at, at, as you know, this game goes on, people will be uh, will be kind of um, well, you know, the developers will be balancing the Nurglings a little more. Um, but even the plague bearers of uh, of Nurgle, like these guys with that guy, are almost as strong as the Chosen Warriors. Um, now with this new warlord in the game, of course, uh, the uh, mounted exalted hero, he gives such great bonuses that the Chosen. Um, the, the Chaos Chosen, uh, the Warriors from level 20, are actually stronger than the level 14 Nurgles now uh, with this Warlord. But, uh, I mean, when you get to these later, these cavalry units from the Chaotic Rift here, these uh, Plague Drones of Nurgle, I mean, with that Warlord, these guys are insane. So don't count out the Nurgle yet. I see a lot of people saying, hey, what about the Nurgle, you know, Nurgleites? I mean, we got these... <laughs> We got these great, cute little, you know, nerglings, these little T2s here, which is great. Um, but when you get to level, what is that, level 25 you get these guys? Level 26. When you get to level 26, you're going to be a Nurgle fan, okay? No matter what, you're going to be Nurgle. Nurgle Nation will come to be, okay? But also, um, this Corn Warlord that just dropped is is insanely strong. He's so good. I mean, look at this, look at this. I, I can't even bring this up enough, guys. The corn uh, and the Nurgle guys are going to be the, the top tier, okay? You can kind of pick or choose whatever you want because they're both going to be super strong. The corn hounds with this guy are going to be insanely strong, just like with the Nurgle guy. And if you haven't realized it, in the ritual section, you can go down to this uh, to this Daemonic Rituals and you can get, and of course this, this account isn't focusing on the, the god specific yet, although that's going to change now. Uh, my other account focuses on god specific. This guy's more undivided. Um, but you can get, I mean, look at this. If I max this out, my, my corn units get stacking on top of the other bonuses, another 25% attack bonus compared to undivided troops. This is its own, I mean, this, this demonic rituals tree is its own ritual tree, uh, for God specific units to give bonuses that stack. They stack. Look at this. Mark of Nurgle. I can get an additional... 40, come on, open up, baby. Uh, sorry, additional 8% damage. Where's the health one? I mean, 40% health. Is that, no, no, I want to see the health. Um, 
I'll find the health, okay? We're gonna get there, but melee damage, I mean, you can get 8% damage, you can get all this different. Here we go, here's health bonus. 40% health bonus to your God-specific troops. Are you guys kidding me? If you have not noticed this yet, you've gotta get into God-specific troops. I mean, I can't say it enough, guys. I can't say it enough. So, like I'm saying, th this keep is undivided focused, right? I'm gonna switch that over to God-specific pretty soon because the benefits for going God specific, you cannot deny them. They are so insane. You can have 40% more health than undivided troops on a unit that already has 2,000% health or 2,000 health with a warlord that gives another 35% health. Are you kidding me? Guys, you get, listen, can't say it enough. Don't count out the God specific troops. They may be marginally weaker stat per stat with your undivided, but with those rituals maxed out, they are the best, especially with these last three patches, the new warlords that have come out. Okay, that's all I want to say, Seaburn. and I just want to, I, I want to leave a little bit for my videos, man. I can't uh, be giving all the secrets away on the stream for free. <laughs> um, I'll let you take it from here. Thanks for having me. You can. I can guest publish you on my website, by the way, with some editing. Okay, I'll sign off. Randy out.